so many hot button issues to get to, and yeah, I'd like yeah. to cover as many as I can. Immigration. Yeah. Um, uh, You've apparently spoken to the president about the game plan, the way forward. As you know, look how daunting this is. Seventy percent of districts held by Republicans in the House have a population of Hispanic voters of 10 percent or less. Um, you're an advocate, but you're also a realist. How tough will this be to get meaningful legislation in the House? Well, I'm hopeful. I'm very optimistic that we will, uh, before too long and certainly this year, have comprehensive immigration reform. Congratulations to the Senate in a bipartisan way and to the courage of those on the Republican side especially who made the tough vote. Uh, uh, on the House side, uh, the Speaker will have his way to bring a legislation to the floor and hopefully it will be in a form that takes well, what's going to happen? I mean, we know that those are the outlines of it, but you've been very tough on the Speaker saying he's weak. Um, and how, how optimistic can you be given the fact that I just you know, cited for you and the views that you're hearing that you're going to get something akin to what the Senate did? We wouldn't even be where we are right now had it not been that 70 percent of Hispanics voted for President Obama, voted Democratic in the last election. That caused an epiphany in the Senate, that's for sure. So all of a sudden now we have already passed comprehensive immigration reform in the Senate. That's a big victory. Uh, the, uh, I believe that the members of Congress, many more than, than are directly affected themselves uh, by the number of Hispanics in their district, will do what is right for our country. And it's certainly right uh, for the Republicans if they ever want to win a presidential race. The senators know it's important to win statewide uh, to have Hispanics and other immigrant populations uh, supporting them. Uh, uh, hopefully they can persuade our colleagues in the House. But I think they're enough. They're enough. The question is, do we have to have these pi r squared mathematical formulas about what it takes to bring something forward? 218, that's a majority of the House. That would be including Democrats not adhering to only a majority of, of, uh, of the majority of Republicans. Right.